welcome to my new video in this video I'm going to talk about how to write a research article please and please do not get bored watch my video it is very very important for a research student research article is very very key thing when you want to get your degree because some universities have the requirements that before getting your degree you have to publish two articles in impact factor journals okay so let's get started stepwise stepwise guidance this is very important video so please watch my this video and tutorial series I will give name to the video video 1 tutorial 2 3 and I guarantee you that it will help okay so how when you get your uh, master position or PhD position in any university so the first thing you do the literature you need the literature you need to study previous knowledge in order to find the gap from where you will find the gap research gap and that is called problem statement once you get the problem statement then everything is with you so this gap you also did literature for your proposal this is the same thing once you find the research gap problem statement then it's easy to embark your further study okay so the problem statement you get from literature review once you get the problem statement and you tell your supervisor that now uh, I'm clear that at which field I'm going to work for example if you want to work on solar cell so there are main four components working electrode electrolyte dye and counter electrode you focus your particular area so when you focus that particular area so the next step is you now need to go to synthesis part for example you have to achieve your uh, objectives for that you need to do some experimental work because you are experimental student so you need to do synthesis part so for this part you need to purchase chemicals you see here and oh you will see oh come on how I will purchase every supervisor have the grants the money you can purchase from there maybe these chemicals or precursors are already available in the laboratory in their labs if they do not have so you just request him or her they will spare some money and you just purchase your chemicals all equipments they have when you go to some established labs now this is the second part you purchase your chemicals your precursors the third part is the synthesis part for example you are synthesizing nanoparticles you are synthesizing quantum darts you are synthesizing nanofibers any kind of thing you are synthesizing if you are doing pure experimental work if it is something related to computer I don't know what kind of stuff you will require you will require some software some computer something this is particularly for experimental work you need to do your synthesis part once you are doing your synthesis part and you need the first step is to characterize those samples those uh, synthesized nanostructure or nanoparticles your desired materials why you are doing characterization you want to confirm whether you are getting your desired material or not this is why you are doing characterizations whether you have to achieve your desired target or not for example if you are interested to get nanoparticles and when you are doing uh, when you do characterization it is not in nano range nano scale mean below 100 nanometers and if you get in micrometer so this means you are not achieving your desired results so this is why you need uh, characterization equipment that is XRD, protoluminescence, SEM, TEM, XPS because nanotechnology you cannot see by naked eyes when you get some powders and it will look like powders but when you use these machines scanning electron microscope and those kind of things so you will see it look like balls big big balls it look like rods you see so this is nanotechnology you cannot see by naked eyes you cannot see it is beyond our imagination okay so you need characterizations when you done this characterization after that you need to fabricate your device for example you are fabricating capacitor sensors catalysis I don't know any kind of things 
and you are generating generator or anything you have to choose for your study you use those material synthesized material in your device now once you uh, fabricate you have to test that device you have to find the IV measurement the current density voltage or any generator either it give you generator voltage or not the sensor whether it give you sense or not chemical sensor gas sensors so when you test it on the basis of those testing and those uh, results you will start your resulting discussion this is the sixth tip now you will write all about uh, result in uh, discussion about your uh, experimental work here okay now the final you have to conclude your work this is the same pattern for your research article and also for your thesis as i mentioned before in my previous videos now in the coming videos i will go into depth each and every step that how you will do this characterization how you will uh, write about all these things so please be tuned and watch my full video tutorial series thanks for watching